Well, this film is called Prince Avalanche, and it is the story of two road workers painting yellow stripes on the road. And it kind of is um, an opportunity for, as a director, it's an opportunity to explore the odd couple dynamic between Emile Hirsch's character, Lance, and his counterpart, played by Paul Rudd, um, and, and how one, one very kind of older, wiser character influences the life of his younger, more obnoxious um, co-worker. You know, it was refreshing to play this character because in Into the Wild, the character is all about, you know, being good at camping and loving nature and, uh, you know, being self-sustaining. And, and uh, in Prince Avalanche, you know, it's, it's just a different perspective. You know, Lance's character doesn't really like nature. He just wants to go party and, and drink. And, and Alvin, you know, he loves nature and he's a man's man. And the, the, the clash of, uh, of the two of them, um, you know, is part of, you know, one of the charms of, and emotional aspects of the film. Seriously. Are you really cool not getting laid all summer? I don't really have much of a choice, do I? I mean, when you were out here for the spring by yourself, didn't you get lonely, like so lonely? There's a difference between being lonely and being alone. There is? Oh, yeah. I reap the rewards of solitude. How do you do that? <sighs> well, I write letters to your sister. I read. Paint, I sew, I had a cat, so I used to take care of my pet before it was killed. I have a lot of prescription medications, but I try not to use them. Wow, I don't know. I get so horny out here in nature, don't you? Horny? I don't think so. Um, it was, it was uh, actually it's a, an amazing landscape in a state park in central Texas that had been uh, burnt by this wildfire, and so for for me it was an opportunity to to literally um, you know get back to nature with a process that can be very civilized um, and and really roll up your sleeves. And it was like going to work every day, but going to work at an incredible summer camp. So there's you know everything from mosquitoes, and we're walking around in the ash of this forest, and and so it's you know uncomfortable in that degree. But that's part of the beauty of it is with you, the great camaraderie you have with a very small crew, a lot of um, great department heads that I've worked with on all my films. Um, and everybody's there together for the same cause. So the idea that you're not uh, going back to your luxurious hotel at the end of the night or you know, for a hot night on the town, but you're going for bars and uh, you go hit the bars and have a few burgers and good conversation with your buds, like that's what movie making is all about for me. So both of them were really tremendous to work with and Paul Rudd was a guy that I've been friends with for a really long time and this is a, a, a great first opportunity to do something professional together or semi-professional. We really had a great time kind of letting loose and, and and not working in a traditional fashion, but having fun and discovering a lot about ourselves and these characters during the production process. Paul was a lot of uh, fun for me to work with because he's so sharp and he's always just so on his game at all times and he's quick on his feet. So whenever we did scenes, it was always just having a great dance partner. And he just brought a great kind of counterbalance to my personality and the way I am naturally. And, just had a different perspective on life that I was able to really appreciate. You know, he's married and ha has kids, and you know, he's at a different part of his life. So we would, I would, would always be kind of contrasting where the two of us were. I guess one of the keys to comedy is if you try to be funny, maybe sometimes you're not funny. I think if you play things straight. And this movie isn't a comedy, really, in my opinion. It, it, it has very funny elements to it, but I, the comedy is not in jokes. There's no jokes in the movie. It's it's strange little reactions and rolling of the eye or some of the absurd things that come out of people's mouths. And, and, and for me, yeah, it was an opportunity to bring humor out of Emil. He's been so uptight and serious in all these movies that it was nice just to kind of take the piss out of him a little bit and have fun. Uh, and for Paul to show a little bit of a dramatic depth and, and emotion to his character. Um, but but never never at the expense of the true emotional story that was um, threaded throughout. Uh, I like He's both. A beach, you're a beach person, you don't, don't lie. Yeah. I like Venice Beach a lot. Yeah, I like to run on the beach on the sand. He cries every time toes. he gets over a certain altitude. But he did climb Kilimanjaro, which I have to I have to applaud him on. That's pretty impressive. I haven't done that yet. There's birds in here.